sad thing happened today. I I burnt uh, my DC power supply. Uh, unfortunately, I think 20 volts went into the positive. Um, and so she's... I think she's shot. I'm going to have to fix it. I'll just plug it in here. So we'll plug it in. It lasted me several years. Now it's trying to fix. So if you turn on it, it's just uh, always. It's like a short, and you can see right there, even though there's nothing there. So that's sad. Hmm. Here's a circuitry. I'm gonna unplug it. Let's. <laughs> Looks like we have uh, an IRF IC right here. So let's check out that. So there should be some sort of safety mechanism, and down in. In here, there's actually a diode, and so this right down in there, this used in the multimeter, we can see this would be like a flywheel diode, and we're getting in a short. So, good thing they have this safety diode in there. So I think if I just replace that, that's why I'm getting a short is because it's reading the short on that safety diode right here. So if I replace that, I think we should be good to go. So there's a couple nuts that I can remove and then fix. So you can actually take up to two screws on this and then it folds down and then it has the seven mil nut socket that you can use to get those nuts off. Basically the most vital electronics is your soldering iron and your power supply. So if any of those two things go, you can't really do much on repairing. I was repairing this DeWalt uh, um, radio and that gave me some trouble. I was trying to feed some voltage in there and then had some reverse voltage and blew up this flywheel diode. So I'll have to solder that guy out, but just a diode. I'm just happy that I can get it going back in working condition. So this diode is a uh, it's a one N five four zero eight diode, and she's shorted out. So I'll just um, it has it's D one on on this circuitry board right here. So I'll just get a new diode and pop it in there. Should be good to go. So we can see now after removing that short, uh, it's not showing the short anymore. And we can change the voltage and all that. After about 10 volts, the fan does turn on, which is nice. So this is the internal of the circuit. It's just a cheap power supply. Also has a thermal uh, sensor in there um, and a transformer. So it's just a, it's just, you know, it was the, a cheap one, but it lasted, you know, five, six years fixing electronics. So just get a bench power supply that you need and any should be fine. This one goes up to 30 volts and about five amps. So that, that did me pretty good. So hopefully this has fixed your problem. If it has, give a thumbs up and subscribe. 
Also, um, I am a author as well on Amazon. So if you want to su support the channel, you can go to amazon.com or .ca and type in my name. It's uh, Benjamin Newson, And I've just recently published uh, a couple books. Um, uh, my very first novel is called Heart of Stone. It's an interesting uh, story about the end times and this guy's having dreams and then his dreams become real in a science fiction novel. I also have a other uh, book called uh, Unlocking Your Mind about memory tricks if for studying techniques as I'm a teacher. So several years there. And over the Great Wall, I've uh, written about my life experiences seven years uh, abroad in China. So um, have a good day and I'll see you in the next repair video.